Hi, in this video we're going to use Terraform to create VPC in Google Cloud Platform. And we also configure two subnetworks, one of them is private and public. And we will leverage another module, uh, Cloud Router, to create NAT gateway and configure it to map to our private network. Let's get started. Alright, let's create our main tier file. And we're going to start with defining some local variables. Um, we're going to use project. It's going to be my project. And we're going to deploy it in US West 2. And the second part is to create a provider block. So uh, here you need to create the service account for your Terraform and then download credentials and then specify the path to your credentials. And under the project, we're going to be using this local variable from here and region, the same region as here. And now let's create the main uh, VPC module. That's the one. And in order to get more information about module, you can follow this link. And you can find more um, input variables. So here you can find that this module uh, accepts, I think it's around six variables that you can provide to customize your network. And unfortunately, compared to um, AWS, this module do not uh, provide you with a NAT gateway. So in order to map your NAT to your private subnet, you have to use another module. It's called Cloud Router. And okay, let's review this module. So it's going to be uh, open source module from the Google itself. And uh, we're going to specify the version 2.5.0. Then we have the project ID and the default routing mode is regional. And then here, just to give you an example, I specify that we're going to delete the default route to internet when this VPC will be created. And on the bottom, we will create this exactly the same route. So it's going to be exactly the same thing. But just to demonstrate that we can use this module to create routes, I just showed it here. So we're going to delete this and then we will recreate it. And under the subnets, we're going to create two subnets. The first one is public with the 10.0.0.0 seeder and the private. And this private subnet uh, we're going to use with the cloud router and NAT gateway to provide internet access. But for this public uh, subnet, you don't need to do anything because you're going to have this particular default route to internet gateway, which is mapped to all uh, subnets that you have by default. Of course, you can. Uh, it's not necessary that you're going to use this route. You can customize it and you can provide some network tags in your routes to select certain VMs based on the network tags. And OK, this is going to be the main VPC. And like I said, for the private subnet, we need uh, the second module and it's going to be called uh, Cloud Router and it's from Google as well. So let's take a look on this module. They actually have two modules and they have the NAT Gateway module, but they recommend to use this cl Cloud Router because it's more flexible. And I'll show you why in a second. So this is the module itself and you can find some input variables and it has only one single output the router and we're going to define the version again the name for the router and the project id region uh, this network name comes from the this module and in the new version of terraform you now can actually depend your modules on other modules so this will work just fine. So this module will be dependent on this one. So it's not going to fail. And the funny thing about this module that 
uh, it provides the block it's called nuts and if you take a look on type it's type any <laughs> and it's uh, array of type any and they don't have the this structure documented anywhere and if you take a look on the example uh, they don't even have the comprehensive example for this nugget they just specify the this name so but you actually can provide more more input variables to this you know, block than just name so you can uh, specify the not ip allocation option this is going to be after so you have the manual option and after option and here under the uh, sub network ip ranges you can list your subnets by default it's going to be applied to all uh, subnets in your vpc but you can uh, specify that you want to put your networks to map with this now gateway and here the block it like i said it's not documented so I, I got the error and then I figured out that this one just maps this resource not. And uh, so under the subnetworks, and it's it's an array and it accepts the name array of subnetworks and accepts the name of the subnet. This is the private subnet comes from here, the name of it, and then we're gonna specify that we're gonna map to all IPs in that. Uh, particular uh, subnet okay that that's all uh, let's go to the terminal and run terraform init first uh, okay it was initialized and now run terraform apply with after proof of course <laughs> all right so it's going to be created in a couple minutes all right now it's created and let's go and take a look on what we have now so under the vpc networks let's refresh our page and we will see that we have the main uh, sub uh, main VPC and we have two subnets private subnet and the public subnet and if we take a look on the routes so when you create the uh, VPC it will be uh, the default route will be created and we in our Terraform code we specified to remove it and instead we created manually so this particular egress internet we created manually and then those two routes created for you by the GCP uh, for each subnet and let's take a look on the router we have the cloud router main uh, network and the name for it router and under the NAT gateways we can see that it's mapped to the NAT gateway and if we open the, that NAT we can see that uh, it only applies to certain subnets and it just in our case it's going to be only private subnet and all other settings i left default that will be all thank you for watching bye